In this question, I'll show you two examples based on the law of multiple proportions. The first question reads, nitrogen forms several compounds with oxygen, including nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen monoxide. Nitrogen dioxide contains 2.28 grams of oxygen to every 1.00 grams of nitrogen, while dinitrogen monoxide contains 0.57 grams of oxygen to every 1 gram of nitrogen show that these results are consistent with the law of multiple proportions. Before we start answering this question, let's talk a little bit about the law of multiple proportions. This law states that when there are two elements, let's say nitrogen and oxygen, that make up more than one compound, and in this case it's nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen monoxide, then the ratios of the mass of these compounds is a whole number. That's it. So what we have to do is compare the mass of this compound to the mass of the other compound. And if we get a whole number, then that shows that these results are consistent with this law. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll compare the larger of the two masses with the smaller of the two. So I'll take 2.28 grams of oxygen found in this compound to 0 0.57 in the other. So if I take 2.28 and divide it by 0.57, I should end up with 4. The ratio that you see is a small whole number, therefore these results are consistent with the law of multiple proportions. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2, we're asked, hydrogen and oxygen form both water and hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. A sample of water is decomposed and forms 0.125 grams of hydrogen to every 1 gram of oxygen. A sample of hydrogen peroxide is decomposed and forms 0.0625 grams of hydrogen to 1 gram of oxygen. Show that these results are consistent with this law. Once again, I'll take the larger of the two numbers, which is this, and divide it by the smaller number, 0.125 divided by... 0 0.0625 and that gives me 2. For the same reason as question 1, since 2 is a small whole number, this shows that it's consistent with the law of multiple proportions. So there you have it, two examples pertaining to the law of multiple proportions.